Hello everyone and welcome back to the WCG for this evening session on day one of the first Harley Cranes test match between Brennan's 11 and Matt's 11. Matt's 11 producing a spirited fight back with the ball just before the tee break as they picked up three big blues wickets to reduce the trophy holders to three for 11 and get themselves right back in this contest. A big final session coming up. So it's the youngster Riley Cornforth on debut who will make his way to the crease here for the men in blue. He'll get this final session underway with his side in a bit of trouble here in their first innings. Impressive on his Brennan's 11 debut and last year's limited overs fixture. Can he stand up for the Blues here? So it's going to be Michael Johnson who will get this final session underway with the ball as he's in now to Riley Cornforth. Here in now and it's a full toss and Cornforth plays this on the leg side to step in for no run. So a genuine loosener there to get the session underway for Johnson. A massive session in the context of this test match. As Johnson will continue again now to Cornforth. Oh, and he's gone right through him with an absolute beauty. Well, there's nothing loose about that from Johnson's point of view. However, the youngster might have just, yeah, it's actually well played in the end, to be fair. Still a good delivery. Johnson to continue to Cornforth in the eighth over of the innings. Here he's in now, and this one's a good delivery. It's a massive appeal here from the men in green. But I think this might have flicked Riley Cornforth's thigh on the way through. Here, nervy moments early on here for the youngster. Yeah, yeah, off the back leg. Good decision from the umpire. So a good start with the ball after the tee break here from the Greens. As Johnson will continue again now to Cornforth. And this one's a more confident stroke as he plays this on the offside for no run. So a big stage to make your test match debut here for Cornforth. With his side still in trouble here in their first innings. As Johnson will bowl again now to Cornforth and he lets this one go confidently outside the off stump. Yeah, as mentioned prior, the youngster was fantastic in the limited overs match last year for the men in blue. Top scoring with 32 in an effort that nearly got them home. Here is Johnson's in again now to Cornforth and Cornforth is forward and plays this on the offside for no run to end with. Johnson begins with a maiden. It'll be Daniel Arnold to bowl the ninth over of the innings. As he's in now around the wicket here to Cornforth. It's a good delivery, bang on the money. But Cornforth is forward and solid in defence as he plays that to Wojcik for no run. So looking good here is the youngster. Just looking to steady the ship after the Blues top order have lost their way. As Arnold is in once again to Cornforth and this one slides down the leg side for no run. So the men in blue 3 for 11 in reply to Matt's 11's 39. So it's a low scoring affair so far. Here is Arnold is in once again to Cornforth and Cornforth is forward and defence confidently once again for no run. So this is brilliant test cricket at the WCG at the moment. The contest pretty evenly poised at this point. As Arnold is in once again to Cornforth. And this one's a full toss. The youngster will be disappointed he couldn't get that away. It's another dot ball for the men in green. So perhaps just a little bit of pressure building here on the youngster. He'll be itching to get his first run in test cricket at the WCG. As Arnold goes back over the wicket now. As this one hits Cornforth in the body. And it just drops on the onside for no run. As Alex step in just lets him know exactly where he is. Here the youngster still on naught with his side in trouble here in their first innings. As Arnold's in once again to Cornforth on, oh, he's gone for the big drive. And he's got a thick inside edge which crashes onto the fence. Well for a minute I thought this might have been caught behind. Oh and it's not far from going over the fence as well to be honest. But the youngster survives. It'll be Mark Pasterfield to bowl the 10th and final over of the cycle. As he's in now to Cornforth on, oh, he begins with a good delivery. As Cornforth nervously chops this onto his leg. And that could have ricocheted back onto the stumps. So they've been good here with the ball so far. After the tee break, have the men in green. Brennan's 11 yet to add to their tee score of 3 for 11. So they still trail the men in green by 28 runs. As Pasterfield will continue again now to Cornforth. Oh, and this one is a shocker. As that one sails way down the leg side, landing off the pitch. And that'll be a wide. So the Blues underway here for the final session. So they move along to 3 for 12. Trailing the men in green by 27 runs on their first innings. After the green machine were rolled for 39. Here is Pasterfield continue again now to Cornforth. And this one's a full delivery. And it hits Cornforth on the trailing leg. And goes away on the onside for no run. So the youngster still yet to get off the mark. Has faced 14 deliveries but is doing a good job just stabilising the ship here for the men in blue. As Pasterfield is in once again to Cornforth. It's a full delivery and he's got a nick through to the keeper. It's that man Pasterfield again stepping up for the men in green. He did it with the bat and now he's doing it with the ball. As Cornforth's first innings in Test Cricket yield zero. It's a good delivery and it's a faint edge through to the keeper. 
Brennan's 11 now in massive trouble at 4 for 12 in their first innings. The youngster just closing the face on it a little bit, which proved his downfall. And the Green Machine, after being rolled in their first innings, are fighting their way back into this contest. So the Blues are in big trouble here in their first innings at 4 for 12. As that wicket now brings Tom Doyle to the crease here at number 5. Has not played in a test match since season 2. Can he stand up now for the men in blue? And his first task will be to contend with a fired up Mark Pasterfield. As he's in around the wicket now to Doy. And it's a good length delivery and Doy just plays this on the leg side for no run. Well Mark Pasterfield is standing up for the men in green. Firstly with the bat in the first innings. And now he's just removed the dangerous Riley Cornforth for a duck to have his side well on top here. As Pasterfield will continue again now to Doy, and this one's a full delivery which hits Doy on the leg and is well fielded by Matt White there at mid-wicket. So what a contest we've had so far on day one. 14 wickets have fallen and there's still plenty to go here in this final session. As Pasterfield is in for the final ball of his over. He's around the wicket, this one's a short delivery and Doy cuts this away on the offside for a maximum to get off the mark. Welcome runs here for the men in blue as Doy is off the mark in style. The men in blue, four for 18 after 10. So the cycle restarts as Nathan Hancock will come in here to Tom Doy. And this one's a good delivery as Doy opens up his body and this one hits him on the back thigh. So that'll be encouraging signs here for the youngster who will be looking to swing Doy here into oblivion. Brennan's 11, four for 18 in their first innings. Still trailing the green machine by 21 runs. Oh, and this one nearly sneaks through from Hancock. It's a brilliant in-swinging delivery. And it's Tom Doy's leg which keeps this away from the leg stump once again. So Doy looking to be aggressive here on his return to test cricket at the WCG. With his side in big trouble in their first innings. As Hancock is in once again here to Doy. And this one's a good delivery and it sneaks through. But once again it's Doy's back leg which comes to the rescue. So this is brilliant stuff once again here from the youngster who has got Doy in all sorts of trouble here. Hancock to continue to Doy in the 11th over. Here he's in now, this one's a full in-swing and delivery and Doy gets a thick inside edge onto the fence as it's well fielded by the green skipper there at mid-wicket. So both sides have been fantastic in the field so far today. As Hancock is in once again to Doy and this one's a full delivery and once again it is the back leg of Doy which keeps this one out. It's a fantastic end to a fantastic over here from Hancock. Oh, that nearly snuck through again. Four for 18. It'll be Harry Dean to bowl the 12th over of the innings. As he's in now over the wicket here to Doy. And this one's a quick delivery which hits Doy on the body. I don't even think he had time to react. Here, Harry Dean winding it up here in this first innings. As we continue again now over the wicket to Doy. This one's a good length delivery. Oh, he's got an edge through to the keeper. Brennan's 11 lose their fifth wicket. Doy goes for six. And the Green Machine are right back in this contest now. It's another bullet from Harry Dean. It's a faint inside edge there from Doy who walks off straight away. Harry Dean picks up his first wicket of the new season. Brennan's 11 floundering in response at 5 for 18. And the Green Machine are back in business. So the Blues in all sorts of trouble here in their first innings. As that wicket now brings Gavin Merrifield to the crease at number six. Has been the saviour over the years for the men in blue. Can he come to the party once again? So Merrifield will have to contend with a fired up Harry Dean. As he's in over the wicket once again. And this one's a full delivery on. Oh, he gets a thick inside edge. And that very nearly goes over the fence first ball. So that was nearly the sixth scout there for the Green Machine. who are on absolute fire at the moment. As Dean is in once again to Merrifield, and Merrifield is more confidently forward in defence as he plays that on the offside for no run. So we have a contest on our hands now, ladies and gentlemen. Brennan's 11, 5 for 18 in response to the Green Machine's 39. As Dean is in once again to Merrifield, and this one's a full delivery outside the off stump, and Merrifield confidently leaves it alone. So just the one delivery left for Merrifield to negotiate in this Dean over. As Dean is in for the final ball of the over and it's a thick inside edge onto the fence. And Dean nearly sneaks through once again. It's a successful over here for the men in green. A wicket maiden. Runs 11, 5 for 18. It'll be the skipper Matt White to bowl the 14th over of the innings. As he's in over the wicket now to Merrifield. 
Here in now this one to four delivery. Merrifield gets this away on the offside to open his account with a boundary. That's as good as any stroke we've seen today as White over pitches to begin with and Merrifield hammers it through the covers. The Blues move along to five for 22. Still trailing the Green Machine by 17 runs as White is in once again and this one's a good delivery. It's still a full delivery but it goes right through Merrifield and White stands there with his hands on his head. He cannot quite believe how this hasn't crashed into that off stump but Merrifield survives. So a good battle here at the WCG as White is in once again to Merrifield to get the thick inside edge onto the fence and he scrambles back into his ground as Hamid is lurking there at mid wicket as the wind is wreaking havoc. The bale's fallen off, the cameras are going everywhere. Yeah, it's a ghost delivery. Merrifield survives. White to continue to Merrifield in the 14th over. Here he's in now, this one's a quick delivery, good length delivery. And Merrifield has hardly had time to see that as it crashes into his gloves. Well, both sides have been fantastic with the ball today. Oh, it's hit him before he's seen it. White to continue to Merrifield in the 14th over. Here he's in now, this one's another quick full delivery. And Merrifield is good enough to keep it out once again. So just the one ball left for Merrifield to negotiate in this white over. The men in blue five for 22. Still trailing the green machine by 17 runs on the first innings. Here's White is in over the wicket to Merrifield. And this one's another quick full delivery. I think he's used a swing ball there. And I think Merrifield has done well not to fish at it. It's a beauty to end with. And the green machine are well on top here. Five for 22. It'll be Ryan Schaefer to bowl the 15th over of the innings. As he's in now over the wicket here to Gary Merrifield. And this one's a full delivery which hits Merrifield on the boot. Oh, he's been given out! He must have hit this onto his boot! The umpire has fired him straight away and that's the sixth wicket down for Brennan's 11. Well, let's have a closer look here. Oh, it's inconclusive from that angle. It definitely hasn't hit the ground. Oh, I think, it, I think that's a great decision. I think he gets an inside edge onto his boot. It goes over the fence. It's unlucky from Merrifield's point of view, but it's the sixth wicket down and the green machine are flying. So Brendan's 11 are six for 22 in their first innings, as that wicket now brings the youngster Daniel Hancock to the crease. If ever there was a time for the youngster to stand up with the blade, it's right now, with his side still trailing the green machine by 17 runs. So it'll be Schaefer into Hancock for his first delivery and Hancock is confidently forward as he plays this on the onside for no run. So 16 wickets have fallen on an amazing day one so far as Schaefer is in once again to Hancock and it's an identical delivery, an identical shot here from Hancock who was forward and confident once again. So a big period of the match here for the men in blue, particularly here for the youngster as it's another identical delivery and it's another identical stroke here from the youngster who's looking confident to begin his innings here, it must be said, with his side in massive trouble at six for 22. And Schaefer is in once again, and this one's a full toss, and the youngster hasn't been able to get this away. So the action has come thick and fast on this opening day's play. You've definitely got your money's worth, and there's still plenty of action left in today's play. As Schaefer will continue around the wicket here to Hancock, and this one's a good delivery which beats the youngster outside the off stump. So it's another successful over here for the Green Machine. Another wicket maiden as Hancock survives. Six for 22. It'll be Joel Wojcik to bowl the 16th over of the innings. As in now over the wicket here to Hancock. It's a full delivery and it goes right through the youngster who goes for a duck. Brandon's 11 lose their seventh wicket and they are in absolute turmoil in their first innings. It's a beauty there from Wojcik which has the beating of the youngster all ends up. Brendan's 11, seven for 22 in their first innings. And the Green Machine are not only fighting their way back into this contest, but at this rate, they'll take a lead into the second innings. So it's been amazing stuff so far here on day one, as that wicket now brings Peter Fowler to the crease at number eight. And we all know that Peter Fowler only knows one way how to play. So this should be another exciting period of the contest. So it's Wojcik to continue over the wicket here to Fowler for his first delivery. In now and it's a good delivery outside the off stump and it beats Fowler first up. Well you just can't take your eyes off this contest at the moment. 
Brandon's 11 in all sorts of trouble at 7 for 22. As Wojcik will continue to Fowler in the 16th over. Here he's in now, Fowler advances and he plays his back down the pitch. But it's well fielded off his own bowling there from Wojcik. Well, we all know what happened in last year's third test match between Fowler and Wojcik. That amazing court and bowl. Will history repeat itself? As Wojcik is in once again to Fowler, it's a wild swipe across the line. But Fowler doesn't make contact. Well, as mentioned prior, Fowler only really knows one way to play. So this is going to be an aggressive little innings here from Fowler. Perhaps he can hit the Blues out of a little bit of trouble here. As Wojcik will continue to him now in the 16th over. He's in now, this one's a full delivery. And once again, Wojcik fields off his own bowling. So an incredible 17 wickets have fallen so far on day one. And there's still plenty of play left today. As Wojcik will continue to Fowler in the 16th over. As Wojcik's in now, and this one's a slower full toss. As Fowler plays this off the fence. And it's fielded by Hamid Basha for no run to end with. It'll be Alex stepping into bowl the 17th over of the innings. As he's in around the wicket here to Fowler. And this one's a full delivery play down the ground. But it's been brilliantly fielded there by Michael Johnson at mid-off. So the Green Machine have been quite magnificent in the field so far in this innings. As they'll be looking to wrap up this tail quickly. As Stepien's in once again to Fowler. He's played this over the fence. That is the eighth wicket down. Stepien's got a third. The Green Machine are on absolute fire here in this first innings. It's the eighth wicket down for the Blues as Fowler becomes the fifth duck of the innings. And the Green Machine, an hour and a half ago, they were done. Now they're on top. Well, it has been both a quite astonishing comeback for the men in green and an astonishing collapse for the men in blue. As that wicket now brings Josh Bowling to the crease at number nine. Can he dig the Blues out of this awful position and at least get them to a lead? So it's Alex Stepien looking to pick up his fourth wicket of the innings. In now to Bolling for his first delivery. And it's a short delivery outside the off stump. And Bolling leaves it alone. The Green Machine have been simply fantastic in reply. As Stepien will continue around the wicket here to Bolling. He's in now and Bolling plays that off the fence. He's going to go through for a quick single. Oh, and a direct hit and he was gone. It was a clever flick there from Mark Pasterfield. And it was a desperate slide there from Josh Bolling, who, if we look on the replay, has slid with his knees on the pitch. That's got to hurt. So Alex Stepien in for the final ball of the over. Here he's in now. This one's a good delivery, and it beats Bolling all ends up to end with. Runners 11 struggling at 8 for 23. It'll be Mark Pasterfield to bowl the 20th over of the innings. As he's in now, around the wicket here to Josh Bolling. Here he's in now and Bolling plays this down the ground, but it's well fielded there by, I think that's Michael Johnson there at mid-on. Yeah, the Green Machine have been unbeatable in the field so far this afternoon. Here is Pasterfield, will continue around the wicket here to Bolling in the 20th over. As this one's a back of a length delivery, and Bolling gets an inside edge into his body and drops this down at his feet and will move through for a single. So a good busy start to his innings here from Bolling. He's moved along to two. His side 8 for 24 in their first inning, still trailing the Green Machine by 15 runs in what's been a quite amazing opening day's play. As Pasterfield is in once again to Bowling and Bowling hammers this down the ground. It's been signalled as 6. Now it's been changed to 4. So it's a boundary there for Bowling, but it's an impressive stroke nevertheless. He moves along to 6. The Blues 8 for 28. Nathan Hancock to bowl the 21st over of the innings. As in now over the wicket here to Bolling. And this one's a good length delivery. Bolling plays his back down the pitch. But it's swarmed upon there by Hamidul Basha. And it's no run. So the men in blue, 8 for 28 in their first innings. Still trailing the green machine by 11 runs. As this one's a full delivery. And Bolling has hammered this. But he's hammered this over the house. And that is the ninth wicket down for the men in blue. Their misery is almost complete as Bolling has to go for six. He has hammered that all right, he's got a good chunk of it, but it sails over the house. And the defending champions are on the ropes here in this first innings. Nine for 28, and the Green Machine rejoice. This has been quite a stunning turnaround. So it's the youngster, Costa Savas, the last man to the crease here for the men in blue. His side in all sorts of trouble at nine for 28. Still trailing the Green Machine by 11 runs. Can the youngster erase the deficit? 
He'll have to contend with a fired up Nathan Hancock, who's just picked up his first wicket of the new season. Here he's in now to Savas, who does it off for a stroke. And he's cleaned up first delivery. It's all over for the men in blue. The green machine, after being rolled for 39, will take a lead into this second innings. It's an absolute beauty there from Nathan Hancock, who gets two and two deliveries to wrap up the innings. And the green machine sends a change in the tide here. So in quite an amazing day one's play so far, the first innings has been complete as the men in blue have been rolled for the third lowest total in test history at the WCG. They have been dismissed for 28, with none of their batsmen being able to reach double figures in a dismal effort with the bat. Alex Stepien, the hero with the ball, taking three for one off his two overs, with both Joel Wojcik and Nathan Hancock taking two for none. Now let's head back down to the middle with Daniel Arnold, who's got the mosh mic for some player interviews. Yeah, back again with the mosh mic, and uh, we're here with Alex, the man, step in. Uh, massive, massive comeback there by Max Eleven. Uh, taking three for none. Mate, that's, that's massive, unbelievable effort. Your thoughts on, on how you bowled, and, and uh, did they have a chance against you? Mate, um, it was a team effort. We uh, we got Brendan early. Um, I think it was about one for eleven, and then we were just the tank rolling downhill, mate. We we're just taking out everyone in our path. So well, it, was, it was massive. Yeah, no, it was massive. And just when you thought that we didn't bat that well. Yeah, no, they, we, they, we, we we certainly didn't bat well, but um, we got together after the first innings, and um, yeah, we said that it's, it's going to take a, a unit effort, and um, okay. yeah, together, and that it did. Absolutely. All right, Steffi, well bowled. Thank you. Mate, fantastic effort, and. Uh, Mate, we look forward to seeing you bowl again in the second inning. That's it, the job's not done. No, it's not done. That's not it. Done. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, here with the Mosh Mike, and uh, here with Brendan's 11 captain, the walking wounded, mate. Um, <laughs> suffered a massive injury and um, building yourself in the ankle. I think that's a bit of an overreaction, but we'll be right. A bit of an overreaction, you were down for, for a while. We'll be all right. I, I did say, sorry, I'll let you finish. No, no, that's, I'll, no, I'll finish. I'll, I'm in front of that, Jack. No, I'm right, I'm back. I'm right, I'll be back. <laughs> But uh, I did say, uh, judge the wicket after both sides are batted on it, and uh, both sides are batted on it now, and you've got an 11 run lead, so. Matt, you're, yeah. You're a wise man, but Matt's 11 didn't bat too well, and there's only one. I think, but I think, look, it's fair to say that both sides haven't batted too well, to be honest. Both sides have bowled very well, being electric in the field, so we've got a contest on our hands. Would you say that this apparatus, being on my nose, is they use fucking stunk with the bat? <laughs> Uh, if I if I can't if I can't say that, no, well, no, no, look, was, you guys stunk. If you guys stunk, then yeah. Well, look, thirty nine plays twenty eight. We haven't had that for a while. We, so. we, we didn't do well to be both sides. That's all right. right? But right. it shows that we both. An both eleven run lead. An eleven run lead is not much. So we're going. We're going into a one innings match. Yeah. We're going well, into well, a one innings match. You got to say well bowled and filled to both sides. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Let's let's, let's 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 bring it on. Let's bring it on. Hey, good luck for the second innings. Not for you. And uh, not for me. Thank <laughs> <laughs> to you guys. Thank you. How are we guys? We're here with the Mosh Mai Men's Health, supporting uh, all of you out there. And mate, talk, talk about supporting. I think uh, Matt's 11 stood up and supported each other very well then. 100% mate, that was a great effort. Uh, we talked about not uh, doing what we did last year, and that actually happened, but we bounced back unbelievably. And everyone is, everyone's buzzing honestly at the moment. And a good group effort, but yep. it did take a couple of ind individual bowling. Yep. Um, 100%, 100%. Safe, no, safe. We, all, we all bowled well, I thought. Yeah, no, we didn't give them nothing. And now we're, we're, coming, we're, we're batting again and this is where it counts. So we've got, to, we've got to score some good runs to shut this game down. Uh, no, I'm yeah. pretty sure you'll get on the boys to, to yeah. head down and, and fight hard. That's it, 100%, mate. That's, that's exactly what needs to happen at this moment. So we need to score. If we can get 150, that'd be great. Good luck to the boys. Good luck, mate. Good luck. Well Thank you. Thank you, Daniel Arnold, once again with the Mosh Mike. And thank you once again to Mosh, who have been fantastic since jumping on board this season. So the match summary as it stands here late on day one. The first innings is complete. Match 11 will take an 11-run lead with them into this second innings. And they will now have to negotiate a tricky period before the close of play, with Brennan's 11 looking to continue the procession of wickets. And it will be Daniel Arnold who will get this innings underway once again here for the men in green. It was dismissed in the opening over for one in the first innings. So the green machine will be hoping he can fare better this time round and get them off to a good start. So match 11 take an 11 run lead into this second innings. And it's going to be Brendan Scott to bowl the first over of the innings. Here he's in now and he's bang on the money. And this one flies through to the keeper. 
but I think it flies off the shin of Daniel Arnold. Here, so bang on the money first up of the men in blue. They mean business. Scott to continue to Arnold in the opening over of the innings. Here he's in now, this one's a full delivery. And Arnold gets his big size 12 shoe across and keeps this one out. So the Blues will be seething after that first innings effort with the bat. They have missed a golden opportunity to go ahead in this test match. As Scott will continue to Arnold in the opening over. This one's another good delivery outside the off stump. And Arnold lets this one go. So 20 wickets have fallen and what's been an amazing opening day's play. And the Blues will be hoping that that trend can continue with 15 minutes remaining here today. Scott is in once again to Arnold and this one's a full delivery and Arnold lets that go outside the off stump. So on the flip side of the coin here, the Green Machine who would have thought they were out of the contest heading into that back end of the first innings, now are in a very favourable position. As Scott is in once again to Arnold and Arnold plays this on the fence and it nearly gets through bowling but he eventually fields for no run. Here the men in green have an 11 run lead which normally you'd say isn't much but in the context of this contest that's hard to say at this point. Here is Scott is in for the final ball of the opening over and this one's a good delivery that's played on the onside but it's fielded by Costa Savas to end with. It'll be Henry Perinara to bowl the second over of the innings. As in now over the wicket here to Arnold and he flashes outside the off stump and that's nearly a moment there for the man in blue but Arnold survives. So just itching to get off the mark here is the big fella. Here is Perinara will continue over the wicket now to him in the second over. He's in now and this one's a slower delivery and he's got a top edge. And it hasn't flown over the fence here. It has. The Blues get their first wicket. There's a bit of conjecture to where this has exactly gone but the umpire has given him out. And that's a big moment just before the close of play here on day one. Here was a good delivery from Perinara who just rolled the fingers on it. Arnold closes the face, gets a leading edge and it sails over the fence. So the Green Machine won for none in their second innings. And that wicket now brings Harry Dean to the crease at number two. The procession of wickets continue here on day one with 21 wickets falling already. Can Harry Dean stop the rot? So it'll be Perinara with his tail up to continue to Harry Dean for his first delivery now. He's in now and this one's a good length delivery outside the off stump. And Harry Dean is back and defends on the offside for no run. So an important period of the test match can Harry Dean see his side through to the close of play tonight? As Henry Perinara is in once again to Dean. And Dean plays this on the offside. Oh, it's a misfield there from Sabas. And Dean looked like he was going to steal a run, but thought better of it. He got awareness from Justin Brook, who got around to make the stop. As Perinara will continue to Dean in the second over. Here he's in now. This one's a wild delivery, which sails down the leg side. So that will be the first run of the innings here for the Green Machine. Perinara obviously in a giving mood as he serves up a stinker there. He'll continue over the wicket now to Dean. Here he's in now, this one's a full delivery and Dean can't beat the only man there on the leg side which is Josh Bolling at mid wicket and it's no run. So still yet to get off the mark here is Harry Dean. As Perinara is in once again, it's a beautiful delivery and it's a beautiful solid forward defensive stroke to end with. It'll be Justin Brook to bowl the third over of the innings. As in now, round the wicket here to Harry Dean. Harry Dean gets a thick inside edge, and it's fielded there by Josh Bowling on the leg side. Oh, he nearly snuck through there, Brook. How the man in blue would love to take another wicket with them into the close of play. Here is Brook will continue to Dean around the wicket. This one's a quick delivery, and it slides down the leg side as Dean leaves it alone. He will probably get this over and maybe one more in here before the close of play on what's been a pulsating opening day's play. As Brook is in once again to Dean. Dean plays this outside the off stump. And he plays it onto the fence. And it's well fielded there by Sabas for no run. And it was a thick edge from Dean. He probably could have left that one. That could so easily have sailed through to the keeper for the second wicket. But he survives. As Brook will continue again now to Dean. And this one slides down the leg side. And Dean is all too happy to let that one go. So just the two deliveries left for Dean to negotiate in this Brook over. Be interesting to see who bowls the final over of the day's play. And that is a bullet there, which is well kept out from Harry Dean. And there's one or two queries here from the Blues who wonder if he's chopped this into his boot. Here, let's have a look. Oh, that's hard to tell from that angle. The benefit of the doubt goes to the batsman. 
So it is going to be Josh Bowling who will bowl the final over of this opening day's play. As he's into Dean, and this one's a full delivery, and it sneaks through to defensive Dean who advances. Here, yeah, that was nearly the moment there for the men in blue. Oh, keeper there, and he's in trouble. Here, Scott has disabled the auto keeper. As bowling will continue again now to Dean. And Dean plays this down the ground into that vacant area down at mid-on. And he gets his first runs of the innings. Harry Dean off the mark in style as he punches this down the ground. One for five. Bowling to continue to Dean in the final over of the day's play. He's in there and that one's a better delivery. As Dean plays that on the offside to Costa Savas for no run. So just the three deliveries left for Dean to negotiate here on this opening day's play. As Bowling is in over the wicket once again to Dean. It's a full toss. And Dean perfectly picks the gap there at cover for another boundary. And despite it being the final over of the day's play, Harry Dean wasn't going to miss out on that. So Bowling is in for the final delivery of this opening day's play. Here's in now to four delivery and it beats Harry Dean outside the off stump. And was there an edge? Was there an edge here? Has this been spilt by the blue skipper? No, he's hit the ground. And that ends quite an extraordinary opening day's play. On a day that saw 21 wickets fall and the first innings complete, Match 11 go into the close of play at one for nine in their second innings with an overall lead of 20. And this match is brilliantly poised as we look ahead to a massive day two of this test match. Can the Green Machine continue their push or can the Blues fight back? We'll see you tomorrow.